Hello, my name is Carly and I am a research services librarian here at Mercer University. Today I'm going to show you how to use the database Social Explorer specifically for your Little Free Library project for Bullington's INT 201 class. Social Explorer is a database containing interactive data maps of United States demographic information from the U.S. Census Bureau from 1790 to the present. First, we are going to start at the Mercer University Libraries homepage, libraries.mercer.edu. Since we already know what database we are looking for, we are going to click on the Databases A to Z button. Next, we will click on the S tab and scroll down until we see Social Explorer. Click on the title directly to open it. And at this point, you may or may not be prompted by Mercer to log in, depending on if you are already logged in or not. So now you have the option to create an account directly with Social Explorer. So this will be separate from your uh, Mercer Libraries account. This is entirely optional, but it can be helpful as it allows you to save your work if you would like to come back. Um, so I am logged in up here. As you can see, there are a variety of maps to choose from. I believe that you all are probably going to want to use this top United States map here for your research. So I'm going to click Explore. And the first thing that I'm going to want to do is add some annotations. Uh, this helps you get your bearings, especially if you accidentally zoom out too far. So I might suggest adding annotations for Georgia, Macon, as well as your Little Free Library's address, and I'm going to walk you through each of these. So let's start by typing in Georgia. Clicking on it and then selecting Add as Annotation. I want to point out that it may appear as though you haven't done anything since no buttons change or anything like that, but if you zoom out, you will see that the annotation has been added. Now let's do the same thing for Macon. So I'm gonna go up here and type in Macon Click on it and select Add as Annotation. Now I'm going to add my Little Free Library's address. For my example, I'm going to use Tattenall Park's address, uh, which is 1155 College Street in Macon. Click on it and add as annotation. Notice that this annotation looks more like a push pin instead of a border like the others. So now that we have our bearings, let's start looking at the data. First, select change data. So I'm going to exit out of this annotation and I'm going to click on this change data. Now you're going to want to look at the different years and select the correct one. So while it is currently 2023, the best census data on this platform is going to be from two years ago. So we're going to look at 2021. And for example, let's look at age data. To scroll down and I think it may be easier, easiest for us to use the age short version. And I'm going to select multiple of these. And so now when we click on the census tract that our Little Free Library is located in, we should be able to see the data regarding age. Right, so we're going to click out of this and currently it has it measured by county. So we're gonna change this to census tract. 
And we're going to zoom in here. And here is the census tract that our little free library is in. And now we can see all of those different um, age ranges, the percentages for that area. I also want to point out the hover click options. Um, as you can see right now, I've got it on hover. So anytime I hover over a different census tract, it gives me that information. Um, if you prefer, you can change this down here um, and click to change to click. And so now it will only show me that information if I click on that point specifically. So another option you can do is the compare option. So this is going to be up here, compare. You can select side by side. As you'll see, if you move one map, it's also going to move the other. Um, if you would like to change this, you can go up here and unselect this link maps option. So now when you move one, it doesn't move the other one. So let's go ahead and change what is on the other side here. Uh, let's look at something else. Uh, for example, let's look at education. So we're going to click on this change data and we're going to scroll down and go to education. So I'm going to do this first option here and just look at less than high school, high school, bachelor's degree or better. I'm going to close it out and notice now when I click on the census tract that it gives both information for education as well as age. Now let's go ahead and turn off the compares feature. Next thing I want to talk about is saving images. So you may decide to include images from Social Explorer in your final paper. And Social Explorer has the option of exporting images. Um, so that is this button at the top right. Export as image. I'm going to click on that. Um, here you can select kind of which area you would like to be included in that image. And if you would like the key, um, as in like the percentages, to be saved in your image and not a separate file, I would suggest changing this format button down here, where it says archive, and change it to PNG image, and then it will have everything all in one. I'm going to click export. You can see that this image has been downloaded, and there it is. All right, so let's get back to our map. So if you would prefer to see, um, you know, kind of a less visual and a more number focused um, example of the data, you can do a create a report. Um, so you can do this by clicking on the hamburger menu, which is this three line menu here, and select create report. And you're going to want to click on your census tract there. And for this example, I'm just going to do an essentials report, but there are other types of specific reports that you can um, look into if you would like. And then I'm going to select create. This will bring up a new tab. And now you can see we have some of this different information um, in a more numerical format. And I'm going to go back to our map image here and close out of this report. So lastly, if you have created an account and would like to save your work to return to later, you can do so by clicking the Save As button on the top right. So right here, Save As. I'm going to save it at Free Library Project. Save it. And now I'm going to go back to the dashboard. And when I click on my projects, we can see that little free library project 
that we were just working on. So this is the conclusion of our tutorial. Um, if you have further questions about using Social Explorer, please feel free to contact Mercer University Libraries.